I'm Lindsay Malone. I am a newish assistant professor at NDSU. I'm in the School of Natural Resource Sciences in Soil Science, and my area of expertise is Climate Smart Approaches in Agriculture, which is what my talk today was about, actually. Uh, the title is, What's Climate Smart Ag Anyway? Um, because it is one of those terms that I think it's a little bit of a little bit of a buzzword and it's not super well understood. But according to the FAO, it has three main pillars. Thinking about sustainably increasing yields, which is sort of the old hallmark of agronomy, and agronomy is actually what I have my, my PhD in. Um, second piece is thinking about building resilience. From a global perspective, that does involve a lot of community resilience, thinking about food sovereignty, food security. Um, but for my research program, it's more focused on a, a smaller scale. So thinking about farm resilience, field resilience to extreme weather events, to drought, things like that. Then the third piece is reducing greenhouse gas emissions. Um, so all three pieces of those, those pulled together is Climate Smart Egg. But I like to talk about it as a team. So we've got this team Climate Smart where there's an offensive and a defensive side. The offensive side is actively fighting against climate change. So anything that's going to help draw down emissions. So thinking about sequestering carbon um, or just reducing the emissions that we have. So we're increasing energy efficiency, we're using less fuel, things like that. On the defensive side, um, we are, are thinking more about adapting to um, existing conditions and, and changing weather. So in North Dakota, we're very likely to experience more frequent intense drought, um, but also slightly more rainfall on average. Um, and that rainfall is going to come in, in more intense periods, so more intense rainfall, um, but farther apart. So how do we deal with that? We also might have a slightly longer season. We might have some more opportunities to get some more diverse crops in, uh, maybe plant some uh, more winter cereals, things like that. Um, yeah, so what I had the, the crowd do was give me some examples of practices that might fall on that defensive or offensive side. Um, and a lot of the, the practices that come up are things like reduced tillage, cover crops, um, perennial crops, and all three of those really fit on both the offensive and the defensive side. Um, so usually when I have um, uh, slides here, I'll show a picture of the Buffalo Bills, uh, my, my favorite football team, but this isn't a Team Climate Smart is not a football team where you have a completely different lineup for offense and defense. It's more like a soccer team where there's a lot of midfielders that are thinking about scoring goals, cover crops, thinking about sequestering carbon, and they're on the, the defensive side as well, thinking about protecting soil organic matter that's here, building resilience to drought, building um, water uh, holding capacity and that kind of thing. Um, yeah, I also talked about the, the three main greenhouse gases that we talk about with soil being carbon dioxide, that's the one that we talk about most of the time, um, but also when we're talking about soil, nitrous oxide is really important as well. Thinking about nitrogen management. We have the, the four R's of nutrient management, which is right place, right source, right time, and right rate. And that really is a, a climate smart concept that we want to put those nutrients on in the amount and when the plants need them instead of having it uh, be, be lost to the environment. And one of those lost pathways results in nitrous oxide, which is a greenhouse gas with um, considerably higher, higher consequences than something like carbon dioxide has. Um, yeah, there's also a lot of these win-win practices. So reduced tillage is a great example where we have less, um, so we're, we're not disturbing the soil, so we're actually protecting that organic matter that's present and protect, preventing erosion too. Um, but we're also literally using less fuel, um, which is less dollars out of your wallet, um, but it's also less carbon dioxide going out into the atmosphere as well that way. Um, so some of my main take home points were, first of all, um, protect the soil organic matter that's already there. There is a lot of excitement about sequestering carbon and building soil organic matter, but I think the, the first thing to do is protect what we have already um, and preventing erosion is a, is a key method for that. Um, second take home point is that climate smart agriculture is really this big umbrella term that encompasses a lot of things. Um, and that's not, not necessarily a bad thing. I think soil health falls really nicely under the, the climate smart ag umbrella um, and a lot, of, a lot of things can. Um, my third take home point on my, on my little sheet uh, was just my contact information. I am still really new. Um, I've been here in North Dakota for just about one year. I just passed my one year mark um, at NDSU and I would, I would love people to, to reach out, follow me on, on Twitter and Instagram. Um, and I'm always interested in research questions that are relevant to the people of North Dakota. Mm -hmm.